Hi, I am here in Acuity Qt Scheduling and I'm going to show you the steps you need to take in order to collect additional information when your customers are scheduling an appointment through Acuity Scheduling. And Acuity is built up for that. It has this intake form questions, so we're going to create a new form. In this case, our customer wants a form that collects referral search information. So now I'm just going to drag here a drop down field, ask how did you hear about us, and here the question, the answers are this. I'm going to say it's required, of course you might not need this to be a required field. So now it's here. The next step is just to say which appointment type do you want to show this form. And in this case, we wanted to show in the test appointment. So I'm going to save the form now. So this form is only available with the test appointment. If we go to um, our appointment types, find here our test category, click here, select the time zone, select the time, here it is. Now you might be asking, okay, how does this information go into um, Infusionsoft? And there's a way to do that, and that is a configuration that we do on our side. So once you configure an additional intake form, just contact us, let us know, and then um, we will move forward from there. We just need to find out which field do you want to map this information to inf in Infusionsoft. By the way, here I am in our test app. I think the referral search could potentially be mapped to a field called lead search right here. And um, that's a common one to map it to. So let us know if that's what you want or if you want it mapped to a different field. It's just a matter of creating a custom field and say, hey, map it to my custom field. And, um, and we will do that, okay? We might need additional information from you in this process, but um, we can certainly do this. Thank you.